you've got three children at home, three young girls, beautiful yeah. girls, and she, her world has been rocked. Uh, she's scared to death. At, for long periods of time, she doesn't even know if you're dead or alive. Yeah. She had to go through that. But let's talk about when you first set eyes on her. Where were you? I was in Lonstrel. I was in Germany at that point at yeah. the at the um, the hospital. First, I remember first trying to hug her, but I had so many w wires and tubes sticking out of me, I couldn't quite find a way to do so. But we just stayed there together, and all she just said was, "It's it's going to be all right. It's going to be fine. We're going to get through this." Apologize. Picked up all the pieces. She's been the strength behind me, who willed me on, who kept the children together. You said something else though. about the job I really love now. And that's how I have to remember Pierre. And I think anyone who dies, you look at them, you commemorate them, you remember their lives, remember the great things they did. You Prime Minister, um, save our allies, the group uh, that risked their lives to save you. Um, everybody involved in the hospitals, all the, th all the people that you write about that work to help you and save you at this point or that point, you know, magically getting saved and getting out of that war zone, that car magically and working with him on his recovery. And Benjamin, thank you for sitting down with me for the full hour. His new book is called Saved. It is available for pre-order on Amazon.com, bookstores everywhere, out on March the 14th. By the way, there's also a special documentary version of Ben's story called Sacrifice and Survival. It'll debut at 9 p.m. on March the 19th, right here on the Fox News Channel. For now, though, let not your heart be